welcome to our second week in the life vlog. Um, the first one was so fun and thank you so much for watching. In this one, I have so many fun things to show you guys. We went down to Franklin, I did lots of shopping, we did antiquing, um, I got a new table and chair, my hair is now short. Um, so a lot happened this past week and I can't wait for you guys to watch it. But first... right now <clears throat> but I was just thinking I was like I have so much grace for moms with littles and big one big kids um, and getting to places on time now because I just I know like <clears throat> how it is because sometimes you're ready to be out the door and then your baby gets hungry and then you have to nurse for 10 minutes and 10 minutes is a lot when you're trying to be somewhere on time and you're cutting it <laughs> cutting it close um so i was supposed to be like seven minutes late which it doesn't matter like it's a free little baby event at the library but still i hate i hate being late because for so many years with figure skating when i was a student like i learned every minute counts and then when I was a coach, I learned like time is money, <laughs> you know? So being late places is like one of my pet peeves. And I'm thankful Jake is like me too. Like, we like to be places 15 minutes before the thing starts. Um, I think with him, that's with the military. Like you're told to be somewhere and if you're there on time, you're late. Like you have to be there early. Um, so yeah, that's just, food for thought um this traffic i don't even know what causes traffic i'm like five minutes away from the gate and it's nothing's moving i wonder what it is so we'll get there when we get there i have so much grace for myself now because <laughs> there's traffic it's not my fault made it back from the base and I'm gonna do a little bit of a grocery and PX haul with you guys tonight I'm making chicken noodle soup actually not a chicken noodle soup it's gonna be like a lemon chicken and orzo soup so I'm gonna show you what I got I got half and half I got chicken for the chicken soup I got spicy hummus also I'm missing many nails I'm gonna fix them later um, I got a Hawaiian shaved ice Alani. I know these are not great to have on a regular basis, but I like to have one on hand in case of an emergency. So, and then I got Chubani Greek lemon yogurt. Lemon yogurt, I just discovered is my new favorite snack. It's so good. 
Uh, I also got key lime, because if I like lemon, I might like key lime. What else did I get? And I got just veggies. I got lemons, avocado, onion, oh, a bread, uh, garlic, celery for the soup. chips for the hummus. I got more peanut butter. I got some cliff bars for Jake. Got more uh, chocolate chips for our rice cake and peanut butter and chocolate chip bars. Bars. Little rice cakes. Um, carrots. Bone broth for the soup tonight. And then this is what I got at the commissary. This isn't, I didn't get these. These are just Bose things. So as I was gonna buy one of those uh, big Bath and Body uh, Works candles, um, one of the workers came up behind me. She was like, I would wait to buy one of those. They're gonna go on sale on Friday. They're gonna be half off. I was like, thanks for telling me. So I ended up getting the smaller one and then on Friday or next week, I'm gonna just go back and get a big sized one. And so I got the small one. I got pumpkin peanut brittle. It smells so good. It's like, it's like you have something in the oven baking, but also it's like you have fall in the oven baking. Jake really likes it. So, then I got essentials for Jake. He needed more body wash. And he's gonna try this one called Bear Glove. Bear Glove. And he also likes the spray deodorant. And that is my haul. Uh, I also got a frozen pizza. So tonight we're gonna have something healthy and then tomorrow we're gonna have something junky. <laughs> um, oh, I also got my Nespresso order in. Boaz intermission. Hi. He's lifting weights over here. <sighs> Getting the gains in, huh, bud? You're going to be a strong boy. <gasps> this he does. <laughs> It's already like the afternoon. Um, I haven't really vlogged today. We went, sorry, we went to the coffee shop this morning. Oop, there it goes. <laughs> we went to a coffee shop this morning and met with our friends. And um, yeah, it was good. It was really good. 
Um, again, it's great to have Christians in the area to just build each other up and talk about life in Jesus. And, oh, what do you want to say? You want to say something? You want to say something? Yeah. <laughs> I know, you're so funny. Yeah. He's just too cute. Um, so then after that, we went to Walgreens and... Little guy sat in a little cart for the first time. It's really cute. Um, then after that, we went to Goodwill, and we literally went in and out. Like, I just was not in the mood for Goodwill. You know, you have to be in the mood to, like, look through things and, I don't know, try to find some treasures, and I was not in that mood. So, yeah, we're just waiting for Jake to get back home from work. And we're probably just going to have a restful evening with Daddy, huh, Bo? Oh, besitos. Oh, besitos. Oh. You are so sweet. <laughs> So I just wanted to show you in my Bible, I use some of my like friends and family's Christmas cards as bookmarks. So it also like reminds me like just to pray for them and just to see family that I love. Also, me and Jake have currently been reading together in Acts. We read a chapter a day and we kind of just like talk about it and then of course proverbs it's october 5th today so this one is the one i'm reading today so yeah so this is my first time recording without makeup on yay i was looking at me like what's so interesting mom um so yeah we woke up with a little bit of a sore throat so I um, am taking those homeopathic things. We've had the humidifier on all week because Bo is not feeling the best. Then Jake's are not feeling the best. So we're just humidifying the whole house. Um, and I read a ton this morning. I read some really good um, uh, chapters in my Tozer book. Sorry, that took a while to get out. Um, and then now I'm going to change out of my PJs. I'm going to put some workout clothes on. I do a quick workout. Bo took a nap while I was reading and I didn't want to like move him because he was sleeping so good on me. So I just let him sleep while I read. And yeah, like I was saying, I'm going to work out while he's crawling around having fun. He's in a really good mood today. So I'm so thankful. And then after that, I will put makeup on. Um, I will shower. Oh, before I shower, I'm going to put 
um, or before I even work out, I'm gonna put this rosemary oil because postpartum I had some like hair loss, of course, and like all this area got really sparse. Um, it's starting to grow back now. I'm having all these crazy like baby hair moments here. Um, so I'm just gonna like put some rosemary drops that help with growth. Um, and I'm gonna let them sit like for 45 minutes while I'm like working out. And then I'm gonna shower it off. Hopefully it all comes off because last time I showered, <clears throat> or last time I did that and showered and washed my hair, the shampoo was not like strong enough to like pull all that oil out. So it left my hair feeling like kind of greasy, it was gross. So I'm gonna try like using my cleansing shampoo and see if that works. But I'm talking way too much without any makeup on. <laughs> so I'm gonna go do all the things I just said. has his top two teeth coming in and he's just been biting and gnawing on everything he can get his hands on uh, these have been my go-to's during the day I have a homeopathic night one that I use that I can show you later but during the day I use these herbal ones let me focus the camera um, and this one has chamomile and marigold and then this one I just like rub all over his little gums and um, it has chamomile as well. So that's what I've been using for him during the day. You're so photogenic. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> you love the camera. You're so cute. Yes, you are. You're so cute. So we're all changed, showered, bathed, and ready for our day, huh, Bo? <coughs> yeah. <laughs> Where's that? You guys, you did It's Friday. Say happy Friday. <laughs> um, today Jake is off of work uh, for Columbus weekend. He gets a longer weekend, um, which is really exciting. So I think we're gonna get ready go to a coffee shop in town, do some antiquing because we are looking for a table and four chairs. I think I'm gonna go with a round table. That's what I'm doing with. Um, so we're gonna go see if we can find one at like an antique or thrift store. Uh, something with some history in it instead of buying like one from Wayfair or something or spending a ton of money on one. Um, so yeah. So what would you rate this place? 10 out of 10. Okay. I liked everything about it. Aww. Me too.
So this is one of our finds. This really cute uh, white frame. We put this in there for now, but I might change out the picture. It's super cute. And then I found this antique brass rocking horse. So cool. So this is our table we went with. It's very old world, um, natural wood color. I really like the um, craftsmanship of all of this. It's very like old and beautiful and worn. I wonder how many meals have been served on this little table. It's so cool. These chairs, uh, Jake researched them. They're like, they were made in the 1960s. And we got a set of two plus this table for only 60 bucks. Um, and then we got these two chairs, which they, these two chairs remind me of like Heidi. They're so cute. They have this like lion in the middle. I'm gonna call them Aslan chairs. Um, they're so cute. We haven't searched how much those ones are or what year those ones were made, but yeah, they're so cute. Also, just wanted to mention that the Aslan chairs were $50 for a set of two. So the whole thing, table and all of the chairs came out to $110, which was a major steal. Yeah, that was a good deal, Humbo. <laughs> um, instead of buying something like off a of Wayfair, um, this is like really good, good quality, heavy wood, gonna last a long time so we're so excited we got a good deal <laughs> you're such a happy baby now now that you're feeling good you're so happy my little pumpkin It is Saturday. Bo is taking a nap on Jake. We just finished cleaning up the house because we are gonna go spend the night at Jake's mom's. Um, and she lives like about an hour and a half away. She lives in Franklin, which is south of Nashville. Um, so we're gonna drive over and it's so nice because we went outside and it actually feels like fall today. So I got on my long sleeve. I got Bo in socks. Um, and yeah, it's gonna be so fun. And what else? Oh, I'm gonna get my hair cut. So I'm gonna try to go short, but I might chicken out last minute in the chair and keep it long. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'll take you along for that. We're going to get coffee. Oh yes. We're gonna get coffee at one of my favorite places in Franklin, which is called Highbrow. And what else? I think that's it for now. But yeah, come along for our fun weekend. He's awake. This is Bo's outfit of the day for traveling. Got my little hoodie, sweats, and socks. Jake's older brother, Nate. We're gonna be married to brothers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yep, so she's gonna be married in December. December, December 3rd. 3rd. So mm -hmm. she's going to transform my hair today. Yes, this is the four. All this dead hair off, and I think I'm gonna stick to the short and go for it. So, hey. <laughs> hey guys, this it is the final result. So, so pretty. Cute. 
I love it. Yay! Bo is ready for his family walk. It's so cold today. Hey, vlog. Hey. Hey, guys. Welcome to the channel. Like, subscribe, comment. <laughs> Happy Sunday! <laughs> um, we just got ready. We had coffee and toast uh, with Jake's family. And now we're going to be headed to church. So, it's going to be a good day, Hobo. Yeah. haul for you guys um first things i got this cute mix of flowers to put on my table now that i have a kitchen table um i got pizza dough i got the herb one and then i got some full fat yogurt i got a honey crisp Honey crisp apple because I've been craving a good crispy apple. I got pizza sauce. Pepperoni. This pepperoni is so good. Two immunity shot boosters. Shrimp goiza. We used to get these all the time um, when we lived close to a Trader Joe's, and I've been, me and Jake have been craving um, Asian dumplings. So I'm gonna put these in the freezer now. And that's it with that bag. Then we got some olive oil popcorn. We got something that pumpkin. This is the pumpkin brioche toast. I'm excited to try that with like some butter. It says it's also really good as French toast. So that might be something fun to try tomorrow. And then we got the classic must have spiced cider. Got some brown sugar, maple oatmeal. This is like, our guilty pleasure, 
chocolate vanilla cream. So just their version of an Oreo. And that is all. So that was our Trader Joe's haul. I'm gonna show you what else I got while we were in Franklin. So these are the things that I got in Franklin. First one is this book from that bookstore that's right on the main street in Franklin. It's probably now my favorite bookstore. It was so cute. There were so many like little nooks and crannies um, with just all kinds of books. Um, so this is the Pilgrim's Progress and this illustration is so cute. It's all woodland animal creatures and it's just absolutely beautiful. And it's like a beautiful heirloom type book that we can read to all of our kids growing up. And this is actually from California. We got it from Abby, my sister-in-law, and she sent it with my mother-in-law, Tara. Um, and it's my favorite balsamic from California, uh, filled in fort in Summerland. So good. <clears throat> then, this I got from the antique store. And I've been looking for gold frames. And this one was a really interesting shape. And it's so beautiful. It's like, I don't know if this is an octagon. It's beautiful. I'm gonna put some pictures in there. And then, Anthro. I got a candle and this candle was 20% off because it's kind of like a summer fragrance it's sandalwood vanilla and I just really like the jar it was in it's so pretty and it smelled it smells really good and clean so that's all the things I got in Franklin Good morning, it is Monday and Jake is off today. So I'm gonna make a French toast with the pumpkin brioche that I bought yesterday from Trader Joe's. Um, and then I think we're just gonna get ready and go explore some of Clarksville um, and just enjoy the day. It is Columbus Day, so that's why Jake is off, so. He's got a little ice skate on his sweater today. That's mommy's favorite sweater. Yeah. He just started saying dad dad last night. It was the cutest thing. Can you say dad dad? Dad dad. Dad dad dad. Dad dad bud. Oh, good job. Good job, buddy. Are you so big? He's so big. So, I kind of burnt them, but we're going to still try them. They still look yummy. And I have homemade whipped on top. It's kind of melting. Um, and raspberries. And we're going to have breakfast. We're out and about now, and I was just thinking about how it's so nice being off on this holiday because usually when Jake was like in the Marine Corps and stuff, on holiday weekends, he would get a four-day weekend and it would be so fun, but I would have to still work on Mondays because all the kids were off of school, so as a coach, that's like your day to like just pile on the lessons. Um, so it's actually nice to be off with him and enjoy the long weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching this second week in the life vlog. Um, remember to like, comment, subscribe, um, and turn on the notification bell because I don't know when I'm going to post my next one. I need to get like on a like regular schedule. Right now I'm kind of like every... Friday or Thursday I'm posting. Um, if you guys have any requests, let me know down in the comments below. And we will see you guys.
see you guys next week. Maybe he'll have his two top teeth by then. Say bye, Bo. Bye. Blow kisses. Ready? Mwah. Besitos.